Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dark Cloud 2. In the last part, we did more uh, wandering through the canyon. We got some more geostones. Uh, we restored Lao Chao's Bistro and we're on the hunt now for something called the White Windflower. Which is somewhere in this canyon. Uh, I went off video, I went ahead and went through the Elephant Army stage to get, and went out to the sun exits. So... Let's do this. Let me turn the terminal off. And also off video, my crystal brassard, or platinum brassard, finally uh, leveled up and I can finally upgrade it. So, it needed a stand of like 54 or 56, I can't remember. And uh, I got this, the Pockle. So, the, the Pockle Coal. So it comes with wealth, so I'll get 30% more gilda now. So that's nice. Now, now with the uh, oh, I can still. I guess this doesn't require. I just know this. I know this didn't require any monsters. I do want to get the sword leveled up so I can get uh that that uh bandit synth uh, synthesized into this. Bread! I'll take that. Go away, elephant. Not the giant meat. Damn it. Of course it's a dead end over there. Open up chest number one, wind crystals. Oh joy. What do you have? Alright, I know where everything is now. And since this and, and uh, true to its name, there are a lot of mimics on this floor. Like that! God damn. You just. You just lick the air. I'm not getting anywhere close to you. Just keep loading me with breads. Some pink paint. <laughs> Damn it. 
で Like, it's like it can't tell if it wants to storm outside or not. It's like it looks like it's going to, but it can't decide. Fuck. Oh, come on. I'm like one experience point away. One abs. want any part of this. He's like, no, fuck this shit. Alright. Let's put that steel on there. So now Monica has two weapons now that she can steal with. Which is very nice. Now I just need one more to give to Max for his hammer. And that'd be great. Okay. This needs beast, so... Or no. Yeah, beast. Loads and loads of beasts. In fact, what does stamina drink the spectrumizing tail? I want to assume it gives me a t uh, attack. One attack. Wow, thanks. Damn it. Okay, yeah, destroy my weapons for an antidote drink that I can't even have because I have too much. Too much. I feel cheated. Alright. Fuck off. I miss. Go no away. Aha! Try to try to steal me out of my abs. Give me that. Oh god. Nope. I still need to love the bracelet because uh. It's still not it's still not at the stage where it requires in, uh, monster kills, so I still need to focus on the bracelet for a while, primarily, because the bracelet is lagging behind. It's like one upgrade before it's caught up with everybody else in terms of upgrade paths. Really? I wasn't even ready. Go away. I'm an elephant. But still. So that's a fresh new weapon now. It shouldn't take too many upgrades, right? I say that 20 levels in, I'm still working on this on the, on, the, on this bracelet. For the last chest for the exit gives me a map. Thanks for that. 
Really? You're gonna make me go all the way around? Alright, so the upgrade path I'm going for is down there. So, uh, it requires... 90 chill, 80 attack, and 54 scale. Since I have no scale, that might be the... Well, it shouldn't take too long. So, we're gonna go with scale since it's so easy to upgrade right now. Chill won't take too long. Actually, chill and scale might take the same amount of time, honestly. Actually, no. Because if, it, if it's 4 each and it's 12, then... Yeah, it should be about 3 upgrades, and that'll give me 90 chill. I'll worry about attack stat last. two enemies, huh? The Ice Age Elephant. Give me that power crystal. Looks like I should feed my fish. I keep forgetting to feed my fish. There you go. That was endurance. I remember because he had six endurance. <clears throat> crystal I mean if it comes down to it when I get to the the, finny, the fishing frenzy stuff and to the point where I can actually do the the money trick I might have to just leave the game running and just feed the fish every now and then if my stats aren't where they're where I need them to be No, I can't use Monica. Damn you. Is that one of those were mimics? Let's go this way because this is a dead end. I'll backtrack. Take me this far away, huh?
Like product fuel aside, I'm full, so I can sell them, because I'm not going to use the ride pot anytime soon. Right pot actually makes the boss fight in this area a little, just a little bit easier. At least, at least part of the fight. So, uh, I'll use it. I just gotta get the right stuff for it, so... Metal banana? Fuck me. Useless item. damage all right uh, I think I needed what 116 chill what, what, what regardless this will fix this will sense with the chill requirements yes now I'm gonna do exorcism For this, I need to have 80, no, 99 exorcism. And then once that's done, I don't have to worry about uh, infusing anything into the this weapon. Well, technically I can uh, for uh, legends for to help out the heavy hammer. But that's that's a future endeavor. I gotta get this thing to uh ninety first. Because even though I'll have all the stats requ stats required to upgrade, I still need to beat those enemies, which won't come into play at least for a couple chapters. I can't remember which chapters those come into play though. I know for a fact. It's not the next chapter. It might be the chapter. It might be the chapter after that. At least for some of them. So at the very least, two chapters from now. I'll be back for you guys in a minute. Next to a pond, too, so I don't have to waste healing items. Like, I have it anyway. I'm like one cheese left.
That dragon fucked with the wrong guy. Had a hammer full of ice. Sweet, more. Got the th got three of the four that I used as a refund. Oh, fuck it. Big meat. Take me away. All right, before we go back that way, let's go back to Balance Valley. Tiny bit of Jirama and stuff before we go further. Massive slowdown, too. Don't know why. All right. Alright, so let's make. Let's make an Iron Gate for. You don't really have to, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it looks better than having a wooden gate. I'm gonna give that Iron Gate to, uh. Fred, uh. Blinkhorn. Make a, uh, Star Lamp. You only need one. And put it on the brick house. Hey, Blankhorn, I'm gonna upgrade your gate so you have a proper gate. There you go, man. I believe you can connect the fences too, to it as well, but I don't want you to like, fucking with it. And then put the star lamp on the house. Uh, let's switch the wall. I mean, I can't put it there. Is it because the gate? Fuck. Looks so stupid back there. You know what? No. That looks so dumb. Give more a couple more fence. Alright, uh, let me pad the gate first. I took the magnet off. I have to readjust the fences a little bit, but it works. I can't tell this is gonna be a line with the other fence though. I can't zoom in any further. Looks like it's like right around the edge about down here. Yeah, that works. All right, let me remove these fences. No, not that fence. God damn it. Uh, how far? Fuck it. He doesn't need a backyard, right? Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, it's still uneven. Fuck me. Okay. Um. 
Um. I mean, I could do that, but that'll look fucking stupid. <laughs> Alright, let me put that there. This is this probably, this probably the same result, wouldn't it? No, oh, I can't even go back any further because of this fucking tree! Fuck this tree. Fuck these fences, too. Alright, uh, oh, I can't even go back anyway because I can't build, I can't build back any further. Unless I move the house. God damn it. Alright, plan B, or plan C, whatever this plan is. Let's... I don't want to clean up. Let me do this. So I can't build back any further. I will go... That's not going to work either, because that's going to get away the gate. Hmm. It's gonna look fucking stupid with two gates coming out that way and one on this side Fuck Let's do it this way Nope, nope, what are you doing game? Shit Do this way I could angle them I can try. I don't know how that would look, though. Let me try this first. And then... At the gate, like that. I don't know how far out... I can build pretty far out, okay. Looks like it's like right in the center. Looks like it's per that line's kind of perfect, actually. I wish I could actually move the houses rather than pick them up. It's a little, it's a little annoying. Uh, might have to move that tree back there. needs to move. This might work. Fuck this tree. Aha! This might work. Maybe- No! Fuck off, Blinkhorn. It's like half a fence. I said example I gotta be secure. Fuck off. I guess you get you get a screwy fence. Alright. Corner, hide the ugly corner. How far from out? Let's do that. Hide the ugly fence. Star lamp. Perfect.
Now I gotta put those trees down. That I ripped up. It actually works out because I could fit a tree like right in here. Somewhere. Maybe. Yeah, let's stick a tree like right in the center. That looks, that looks dumb. Bug it. You get a tree in your yard. How, how close in the corner can I get it? This is hilarious. I, as close as I can get it. Ah, it works. Oh, I can't even hide. <laughs> I can't even hide the fence further because I can't. Oh, wait. Can I? Where? where wait, where'd the? Well, I can hide it. Oh, a little bit. There, no one will see your ugly fence. Alright. I'll give you a bench. Because you to make up your ugly fence. I was going to put it under the, under the tree, but I guess, guess I can't. Alright. I can put him back in the house. Here you go, man. Hope you liked your new house. I mean, yeah, the fences lined up pretty good. Like, right. Oh, well, it's a little off centered. Off. Well, this one, this aligned perfectly to the center. This one's a little off, but I don't care. Look up. Look it. Alright, I need to take a picture of that lamp. I have the chimney too? I don't know if the chimney counts as a invention, does it? No, it's just a plain old chimney. Alright. Uh, once that's done, go to parts. Alright. We can go back. Back to the valley. Yeah. Like, why is he li living on a plateau that no one can reach and he can't leave? That sounds like a shitty place to live. And if you hate, if you hate people, that'd be great. No one can get, no one can, no one can bother you. Fuck that. That actually might be perfect for me. distortions in my era, but it looks like they've started happening in this time, too. How can we get rid of it? Whenever there's a time distortion, there's always a fragment that falls out somewhere nearby. If you hit that fragment into the distortion, you can make the distortion go away. Really? You can get rid of it? Well, what are you waiting for? I'll help you find your white wind thingy when you're done. Really? Okay, Monica, let's get rid of it. It's not all that easy. 
Here, hold on. Now, where is it? There it is. This is it. This is a time distortion fragment. It's also called a spear. Be careful. You can't touch it with your bare hands. Why not? You hit it with a long stick or something. It's not too complicated, but it's hard to get it into the distortion. They never explain why you can't actually touch it with your bare hands. Does it look like scorching hot or something? We need some kind of long stick to hit the spear with. See if there's some kind of stick handy. Then I'll show you how to hit the spear. I mean, I got a hammer. Does not does it not count? All right, I gotta find a stick. Where or where is my stick? My trusty stick. stick wonderful hey you got one okay let's try it okay listen up you hit the spear with a stick and send it flying that's called taking a shot make a good shot and you'll get the spear into the distortion but there's one thing you've got to remember. When you hit the time distortion fragment, also called the sphere, against something, it changes color from blue to red back to blue, like that. If the distortion is blue, you can only wipe it out with the red sphere. I guess that makes sense. When the in, a, in a way, and I guess. When the distortion are the same color, they repel each other and it won't work. So if your sphere is the same color as the distortion, you have to hit it up against a wall or something and change the color back. It's the only way you can wipe out the distortion. We call this hitting the sphere up against a wall to change its color, bumping. You can bump the sphere as many times as you want, but the number of shots you can take are limited, so watch out. If you don't get the sphere into the distortion within the allotted number of shots, the sphere disappears and you fail. In my era, we call the act of wiping out time distortions like this, Sfida. Some people even play Sfida like a sport. With the world in danger like this, I know it sounds pretty dumb. But I guess people like to escape from reality. That's about it. Did you get all that? Want me to explain again? No, I got it. Okay, you can try it now. Good luck. All right. I get it. I get it! I know how Sfida works. Mildly. Oh god, Thunderstone. Lightning Stone. I'll shove it down here. Alright. Uh, I am going to... I actually want to complete this. If you fail, Monica will do it for you. I think. But I wanna do it myself, so I'm gonna save state and I'm gonna keep doing it until I do it. Alright. Oh, I went right past it. Seriously? God damn, my hole in one was ruined. Oh, that sucked.
Damn it! I need to hit it a little higher. No! Pa! We'll make it. There we go. Shit. That should have been my first shot. I don't know about that. Took me like six tries. Oh my babies. Problem with that when I was when I, actually when I very, played this for the very first time. Take it if that's what you need. After all, it's thanks to you that my but then again, are safe and sound. I had a lot of problems doing a lot of things in games when I was younger. That I can do just fine now. Thank you, Mrs. Condor. Well, I'm off. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, when that strange whole thingy disappeared a while ago, this fell out. It just gets in my way. Here, take it. Got a swan! I don't need to buy one, I got free. Now, if you don't do it on your own, you do not get the swan, I believe. See That's why I wanted to do, do it on my own. Uh. Actually, no. I lied. You get a swan if you do it on your own, and you get a turkey uh, speed club if you might have Monica do it. I'm not sure which is better. I think the swan is better. Uh, let me look. Max is weapon shards. Okay, no, this. Actually, it's worse! I should let Monica do it. Fuck. But then again, you're not gonna use this for fighting. Swan has fragile on it sucks, but you're not fighting with it, so it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter what kind of shit it has on it. Alright. Get me out of here. Alright. Before I do anything, I need to go back to Palm Brings for something. I need to find somebody in City Hall, now that we can do Sfida. Because now, every time we complete the dungeon floor, we can play some Sfida. And, uh... There's somebody that we can recruit... By ha and we have to do not certain- complete a certain number of, uh... Sfidas. Sfida. Sfida goals. And if you don't do this now, any any uh, any speed that you do won't count. I don't even know if she'll be in City Hall this time of night. Uh, maybe Monica for this. Uh, let me switch to Monica. Uh, are you? You know what? I missed my purple well, by a day. You told me not to feel bad. Well, I'm sorry. You're not who I wanted to talk to. Uh, maybe she's not here yet. Maybe it's... Uh, I don't think she's here yet. Fuck. No! Damn it!
You have to wait until it gets darker or light out. Turbo mode engage. If it's not gonna do anything, I don't think it'll do anything at all. I'm just gonna sit here and wait until it gets night out, or day out. Actually, can I change the? Uh, yes, time speed. Like, see no difference at all. Why must it be night? Why can't I change it to day? I guess while I wait, uh, we can make something. The constructor, rock, and the star lamp can make something. Constructor Star Lamp and the Rock. Smash Branch. Say cheese. I believe that's the weapon before the cubic or no. Yeah, I think that's the weapon before the cubic hammer, if I remember correctly. Alright. I'm waiting for this asshole. Ah. Uh... I wish I could make this go by faster. It doesn't seem like time's going by fast at all. Oh, man. Ugh. I see daylight. I see daylight rising in the horizon. No, 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 My God. This is fast? It's not fast at all. Did it even change? Normal time speed fast, my ass. See, it's like it's going slow, incredibly slow. In here now. Uh, where the fuck you at, girl? You're not in here. I've been lied to. Where the fuck is she at? Do you know where Mina is? Clearly not. Clearly not. This city hall, or I can find her, right? Oh, you're now you're outside. All right, maybe she's inside. Uh, aha! I think you're what I'm looking for. I've not been feeling too good lately. I'm just not going. I'm just not up for going on a trip. 
I got Dr. Dell to come and had a look at me, but he said there's nothing wrong. But even standing normally, I feel like I'm going to fall down. It's hard to explain. It's almost as if the world has been distorted. I mean, that's quite a that's quite a reach, if you ask me. I remember those symptoms. In the time I was born, oh, this is Monica talking. The world I was in a very bad state, with more and with more time distortions than you can possibly imagine. She's probably standing and like, "What the fuck is this girl talking about?" This had an effect on physically weak and fragile people. White people would get dizzy or faint, and heavier people couldn't stand at all. Maybe you're particularly susceptible to this kind of thing. Even the few time, few times, few distortions we have here are enough to affect you. If you can just get rid of some of the closest distortions, maybe you'll start to feel, start to feel better. Time to fix the time distortion. You need to be ten stages of Sphita. So yeah, that's something I'll work. I'll, that'll be like a work in progress kind of thing. All right. Now any see any speed of completions from here on forward will count towards that. Any speed of completions done before talking to her will not count. So uh, keep that in mind. That'll be a work in progress kind of thing. But th thankfully, with the power of save stating, I should not have to. F I should not fail a Sita. Cheat my way. Oh, I gotta get the flower to a uh, loud chow. Sorry, guy. Not yet. Plus, you get some decent rewards for doing speed as well. <clears throat> you can get like diamonds, topaz, stuff like that. No blood powders. Which are kind of are which, are which are extremely rare in this game. You don't really find a, you don't really find level up powders around here. At least I don't think. At least I think you can find I think you can get level up powders here. Hey man, I got your flower. Wow! Unbelievable! You've got a white wind flower. Now you'll make your miracle dish for us, right? Of course! It's been quite a while, but let's give it a whirl. All right! Look at him go! Master Chef right here! All done! Here you go. It looks like he just took the petals and just put it under... under a dumpling. This will make Lynn better. Yeah, let's hurry. Lao Chao, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hope it does the trick. All right. Did I ever take a picture of this? No, oh, that's just, it's just a torch. Uh, is there anything in here I can take pictures of? Not really. <clears throat> uh no, not really. At least not yet. Take me away. Is trying to sneak a okay. sneak a taste. Fuck. The wise owl stops me again. Here. 
Has Master Crest gone off the training? Why didn't he wake me? Lin. Why, Argo? You don't remember, then, about Master Crest? Looks like she's lost her memory. Huh? Lin, Master Crest. What about him? Uh, Master Crest is gone, Lin. He's dead. What? <laughs> Come on, Argo. Don't joke around. So you really don't remember? You must have amnesia. Master Crest gave his life to protect the Moon Crystal. He was a brave and wise mage. What? But... What are you saying, Argo? Where is Master Crest? Tell me, where is he? <laughs> Listen closely, Lin. I know you may not remember, but... You and Master Crest set out, like always, to inspect the Moon Crystal. But that day was different. A flying warship appeared in the night sky and opened fire on the lighthouse. Master Crest sacrificed himself to keep the lighthouse's Moon Crystal safe from harm. You must have seen that happen, Lin. You yourself came to me in tears and told me all about it. Have you really forgotten? No, I don't believe my master's dead. Lin, I know you don't want to believe it, but you'll never move forward if you keep running from the truth. Lin, we can go save Crest right now. We'll change his history so he won't have to die. You can save him? Why don't you come with us? If your memory returns, you can help save him. My memories... Master... Master Crest, I don't know. I just don't know. I can't remember anything. Lin, in the very depths of your heart, I think you want to forget you ever saw Master Crest's death. That's why you can't remember it. But your memories are crucial if we are to save Master Crest. You must do your best to remember. <sighs> Don't worry, there's plenty of time. Let's take Lynn with us and go to the Cape Lighthouse. Maybe that will help her to remember something. Yes, we have to try. Then please, look after Lynn. Good luck, and be careful. Liz joined you. Goody good. Wonderful, she's absolutely useless, she does nothing. Wait a minute. Uh, should something happen in the past? Hang on. Oh, the teacher? Um. Dark Crystal, one heart shot Bistro, tool stop restored. Sorry, it's all, all, all the requirements have been met. Maybe you go back to the past, it'll be there? Oh, why don't I keep calling the past? The future? Aha! Didn't tell me. Rarity shop, star items. Hmm, a place like that might sell a star glass. Star glass? A star glass is a mysterious item that can reverse the flow of time. But it can only turn back time to a moment of deep significance to the person that uses it. If we use a star glass to go back into Lynn's memory, we can get back to the time when Lynn and Crest were attacked. Great idea, but it won't work unless Lynn can get her memory back. Right. First, let's try to get a hold of the star glass. All right. Let's do it. All right, I'm not grabbing any miracle chests at the moment, because I gotta find the one I can't grab. And it might have been, and it might have been that one I just ran right past. 
Hey, man. What do you got for sale? Star Leotard. Hey, I can buy elements. I can buy chills. Ooh. Expensive, though. I need food more than anything, though. Like cheese. Give me that star glass. I need to give that, uh, this, uh, back to Max before I do something stupid like sell it. Let me get... Alright, let me sell some shit. Like this, for instance. Uh, that, I'm gonna reuse. Buy a rapier. I'll keep those. Fuck these boots. Fuck the bananas. Fuck that. Uh, fuck the bombs. I really could do more sweet of, or uh, chills, but let me buy a couple cheeses. Let me buy, let me buy that. About like ten chills. Well, no, no, I won't. All right. Oh, maybe I'll get some more lucky drops in the dungeons. Oh, my photography leveled up finally. Jesus Christ, feel like forever. Uh. So, we got the star glass, crescent-shaped light, and a peeping hole. Or pictures we can take. What the fuck's a peeping hole? Uh, there's that light. Where's the peephole? Uh, You guys hiding a people back here? Um, I have to look at the list. Uh, let me see here. The snapshot list. For chapter 3, the peephole. It looks like a telescope. What? A telescope? What's a telescope? Where is the what telescope? I see no telescope in here. Is it outside? Oh, here we go. That's not a telescope. That's like one of those things you have in like the old pirate or the old sailing. The spyglass. That's what it is. I ain't no telescope. Alright, uh... So, let me find this Fruit of Eden that I cannot grab. Uh, it's in the far corner of the Weapon Shot platform. Let's see if it's spawned yet. So, I think I'm safe to grab that. Far corner of the weapon shop platform. Maybe it's not spawned yet. I see no uh, miracle chests in any corners. Nah. Oh. All right, I'm gonna grab that chest. And I'm gonna save seat beforehand. If it's a fruit of Eden, I will. I don't think that I don't think this is what I, I'm not supposed to grab. But on your chance, this is a fruit of Eden.
Okay, it's a potato pie. We're good. So, besides that one chest I can't grab, is there any other items around here? Oh, wait, is it down there? Can I even get down there? No, I can't. Don't know if any chests besides that potato pie will have spawned yet. Now uh, there's more light, I can actually see what's on the bridge. Oh, is that it? Oh, no. I thought that was a chest. No, my eyes are so terrible. Fuck. I don't think that's... I think it's... I think it's just that potato pie that's around here. Yeah, it might have been that potato pie only. All right. Back to the future or the past, excuse me, or the present, whatever. All right, we can prevent more stuff. Uh, so, the chimney, milk can, the peeping hole. Uh, and the chimney. It gives us a. Uh, the milk can body, which looks so fucking stupid. Say cheese. Want just your ride put up like a giant walking milk can? There, there you go. Clock, a monument, and star glass. Get you something. Lovely. An animal I'll never use. Barrel, crescent shaped light, and a weapon. We'll get you something. He can give your right pot swords. Who needs yeah, fucking guns when you have katanas? And then Cedric's shop sign, the crescent shaped light again, and the telescope. Wait, do I have Cedric's sign? I don't have Cedric's sign? What is wrong with me? I could have sworn I had gotten that a long time ago. Well, yep, apparently never grabbed it. All right. Cedric, the sign, the lights, and the telescope. Samurai body. Say cheese. Which is nice. We can make a your ride pod like a samurai. We got the katanas for it. We got the body for it. I need fucking gold pars, naturally. It's so expensive. So many rolling logs, too. And while we're here, since we got photography leveled up... Oh, he's in the train. That's right. 
All right, I gotta find Donnie. He's not here anymore. He's in the train. I don't know which car. I don't know which train car he's in. So. All right, let's search for Donnie. There you are. That was easy. Dig for a scout. What are you gonna give me? Explorer shoes. Cool. I got the nice dragon shoes though, so I don't want those. I'm gonna go with my hat though. What else are you gonna have? What? What do you have for sale? Oh. Oh, I can buy uh, keys off of him. Why the fuck would I want to do that for 500 gilda though? Got the night. I got some fancy shoes. And goes with my hat, but I like the dragon shoes a lot. Maybe when I get the actual explorer's outfit, I might go full explorer. But I'm not sure how many, uh, how much photography level I have to have in order, in order to get it. Uh, I really have no idea where we're at in time because I'm not recording this. I guess I'll just end it here and play it by ear. I'm not quite sure how, where we are with this recording. Well, I say it's recording, but it's not actually recording. You know what I mean. Uh, when we come back, we will dive back into Starlight Canyon, head off to find us some lighthouse, and see if we can't jog Lynn's memory. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next part. Later. Uh -huh.